I bought my first house when I was 18. So I understood very early how important building wealth was. Growing up, moving from house to house, renting every year was a new move. That made me understand that stability was important. As a kid, my mom used to drive us through these neighborhoods and we'd look at the big, pretty houses. I didn't know later on in life I would be selling those homes. When I realized that most African Americans or Hispanics are not homeowners, even though we're making more money today, we're more educated, we're still at the bottom of home ownership. That's why we started the radio show to try to increase home ownership. Shad launched the Real Estate Corner in 1990 to reach the masses about home ownership. We've got a great show on hand tonight with you. We're going to be talking with Allison Griffin. What's going on in the affordable housing side of things? So the agencies like Fannie, Freddie, HUD, they're all rolling out all kinds of terrific affordable housing products. We're not just talking about buying and selling. We're talking about laws that affect real estate. A regular guest on Shad's show is Congressman Al Green. The two have worked together since 2008, when Shad became his NAR federal political coordinator. He's really become a real friend, not only to me, but to the uh, committee itself, the Financial Services Committee. In fact, he testified before the committee and gave us a lot of insight in terms of how laws were impacting people adversely. And we've made some corrections as a result of his recommendations. When Congressman Green calls Shad for advice, he's wanting advice for the whole industry. So I'm someone who lived in housing projects. On the airwaves or in person, Shad strives to make people aware of the resources available to achieve home ownership. One of the things that we did was educate people about Section 8 vouchers. I've had people who never, ever in their life thought they would be able to purchase a home use that voucher to make their payments. It's just a source of income. Housing choice voucher equals income. That's all it is, real simple. The HUD program includes the Veterans Affairs Supportive Housing Choice Voucher, one Paul Lewis, a disabled veteran, utilized to purchase a home. We needed a, a larger home for our growing family and for their special needs. And so we reached out to Mr. Bogney and he delivered. Even though we had ups and downs during the process, it wasn't all rosy, he was able to hang in there and bought a beautiful, beautiful home. Shad has served as chair of the Houston Association and Texas Association of Realtors and currently chairs HAR's Government Affairs and MLS Advisory Group. We're only 29 to 30% of home ownership here in Houston. Why is home ownership so low? A lot of it has to do with down payment assistance. Shad pushed for HAR's MLS to include the over 2,000 down payment assistance resources. There's a button that the consumer can click. It takes you to the actual programs that are available to that property. What I'm most proud of are the people who didn't buy from me, but bought because they listened to the show. They understood there were down payment assistance programs out there. Shad's mother, who recently passed away, instilled in him the importance of helping others. I'm going to miss her. She knew my love to help people with home ownership. My mom instilled in me, the money will come, son. Just take care of people.